Chris, do you think it's appropriate to go back to old Windows restore points if a power outage shuts Windows down by, badly? Kenny, I don't think there's a point to going to Windows restore uh, a restore point unless you absolutely have to. It's always a last resort for me. Like when things go really wrong and I'm like, oh, and your backup is against the wall, that's when you use Windows Restore. Restore points at Windows just frankly suck. It, it should be treated more as last resort, not as a, a regular backup kind of thing. Um, for restores in Windows, I really like block-based backups, meaning one-to-one -one backups, meaning everything gets restored exactly as it was at that specific point in time. Windows Restore Points is not that. It's kind of like a jank version of a restore. Microsoft's doing not very well on, on backups. They've always really sucked at backups. It's always been a sore point. That's why like a Cronus, that's when they got cut their teeth before they went to like a pay to play subscription model. And then um, probably the brands I like now, you know, honestly, the Synology active backup for business that comes with all Synology hardware, that one has been very good. No, no subscription, no keep paying them forever. That was a good one. Um, a lot of people love like Maximum Reflect, I think it is. That's also a solid one from the community that has been recommended to me a bunch. I haven't really used it though, so I can't really speak to it. There's a bunch of good ways to restore, uh, but usually it's third party. So yeah, Reflect is a, a very good, good company still until, you know, they get bigger. And then as with all big companies, you know, you either die the hero or you live long enough to be the villain kind of thing. <laughs> 